What is good, everybody? We made it to Friday. Today, I wanna to talk about stress. A lot of the videos I've been covering are about avoiding burnout, being nicer to yourself, how to balance like hobbies and stuff. And most of that just comes from me talking about my personal experience doing YouTube and gaming for like over 10 years now. And I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just trying to share stuff that I feel like has worked for me and if it resonates with others. I find talking with others is like a really good way to learn and just grow. And honestly, sometimes it's comforting to hear what other people are going through because oftentimes we find out that we're all going through some really similar stuff. Maybe you're like me and there's weeks where life just piles up and bills and work and sometimes gaming and all these things. And I'm not a licensed healthcare professional. You should absolutely, if you're dealing with stress and, and anxiety, go to your doctor, talk with them. Um, I mean, I've gone to therapy in the past because of stress and it was remarkably helpful. And um, anyway, I'm not giving any sort of tips in that way. I just wanna share sort of my my story. So anyway, um, this last week I've, there's nothing, no real reason why I'm feeling stressed and overwhelmed. It's just the usual things. And sometimes there's little periods that they feel like you're letting down from a stressful period and then all the consequences catch up. And for me, I just get this like overwhelming sense of dread about everything. The what if part of my brain is thinking through all the bad scenarios for every possible like what if outcome and then going into fight or flight, even though none of those things are realistic or threats at this time. <laughs> the one thing, okay, I've had a bunch of mice that got into my car over the last month and they stashed bird seed and all sorts of junk in the air filter. And it's been a pain to try and clear it out, fix the problem, worked with a mechanic. It's not a big problem, but I just throw it in there because I'm like, is that literally the straw that broke the camel's back? Like real work, YouTube, all these things. No, that's all good. But just adding one extra thing, sometimes that's all it takes is just that one extra small thing that pushes you over the edge. Now, in like 2019 is probably what I remember as one of the most like stressful times in my life in terms of like balancing life responsibilities and gaming. Um, that year, I put out a ton of videos. I was super amped. But at the same time, my normal job, I got a huge bump in responsibilities and it I did not manage it very well. I just kept driving, right? I saw the check engine light was on. I, I felt like the wave of stress every day coming and I just didn't address it. There was no self-care. There was no reflection. It was just, I'm going to work harder. And I super burned myself out. And I remember like all the stuff that I really enjoyed, mountain biking and gaming, it all just lost most of the fun and it became super robotic and I wasn't really enjoying it as much. And that was kind of a wake up call. And that was the era where I did go and talk to a professional. And it was so helpful hearing about all these different techniques and things that you can do and ways to view um, our challenges in life and stress. And it just gave me an entirely new perspective. It was a long time, like it took years before I sort of came out of that funk and got back in a rhythm. And I still get hit with big bouts where um, I feel overwhelmed and some of those, those things come back again. It's just now there's like techniques and I sort of know the process and, and have a different perspective on it. Now, gaming can be a, a double-edged sword in all of this. Sometimes it's a huge, amazing stress reliever. Sometimes it's a source of stress when we don't manage it well. I don't know why, but sometimes gaming is stressful and it's such a first world problem, but maybe you can relate to it. If there is, I find with competitive games for me, I typically put a lot of pressure on myself to want to learn, improve, get better. And if I do poorly, a lot of times I'll tilt and internalize just a ton of frustration at myself. I got a lot better at this during the StarCraft two years. Many of you know this story, the channel has always been centered really around Halo and first person shooter games. But around 2012, 2013, when Halo was coming off the MLG circuit and StarCraft II was like the main focus, I started getting invested in StarCraft II. 
And that game really did teach me some incredible real life lessons. But one of the biggest ones is, is recognizing, how do I phrase this even? So StarCraft II is a 1v1 game. And when you lose, it's always your fault. There was always something you could have done. Up until that point, the only games I'd really played competitively were FPS games like Halo. And you could always just get mad and blame a teammate. Blame bad matchmaking, bad hit detection, all, all this stuff. Instead of looking at yourself with a disciplined approach and asking, what can I do better? 1v1 games like fighting games or StarCraft II strip all that away. You cannot blame a bad teammate. You got outplayed and it was as simple as that. And the only way you can improve long term in those pursuits when you take full responsibility of your actions is if you approach it in a way that isn't like abusive to yourself emotionally, right? You can't just tilt and get so angry at yourself for not being better. I mean, you can. Lots of people do that. I did that in periods of time. You just don't grow. So you have to learn how to, I don't know, move beyond that and recognize that every single match is an opportunity to learn and to improve. You will absolutely make mistakes. Your opponent is also making mistakes. But you are in the driver's seat of your actions and your choices. And that is something I took from StarCraft and have applied to real life. And it was revolutionary, realizing that every day is an opportunity to learn and grow. You will make mistakes, but you can't expect yourself to just crush it in every scenario. Life isn't black and white, win or loss. There's so much nuance to it. But when you realize you're in the driver's seat every day of your actions, your choices, there's something revolutionary about that. Now, jumping back to when gaming can be stressful, if you are in a really stressful time of your life, there are just some games you probably don't want to play. Competitive games that can be easily frustrating are not a great option. Maybe it's a good season of life to go play a chill single player story game. Sometimes you just need a break from gaming altogether, doing other hobbies or activities that let you de-stress. I told you in that story when I was really stressed out in 2019, I took a pretty substantial break from most games and I needed to step away. When I came back, it was a lot more fun. And during those years, I was mountain biking a ton more and enjoying it quite a bit more. I think it all boils down to the importance of self-awareness. Being able to listen to your body and your mind, knowing when to step away from a hobby or work or gaming when stress builds up. We can't always, can't in the middle of the workday be like, all right, too much, I'm out of here, you know? You have to find ways to recharge the battery. If you know it's particularly gnarly weak, Maybe that weekend you're like, I'm going to go for a bigger mountain bike ride and I'm going to make sure the house is cleaned up so when I come home I'm not freaking out or stressed or overwhelmed because it just feels like it's all piling up everywhere. And I think that's a lot of the stuff that I've been talking about on the channel are things related to self-awareness. Backlog strategies, time management stuff, hobbies, all that jazz because... If you're really paying attention to yourself and being kind to yourself, you can catch signs of burnout early and take some steps to hopefully prevent it. You know, clear boundaries, mindfulness, taking breaks, staying connected with friends and family, getting enough sleep. These are all really critical, but honestly, this is just all personal experience and I... I'm on a journey like everybody else. And if you talk to anybody in your friend circle that you trust about stress or periods where they're feeling like life is just like crushing, you're going to hear really similar things. It's important to know we're like all on this journey and it's okay to take it one step at a time. You know, I think it's super important to find what works for you. Seek professional advice if you're dealing with like severe stress and burnout. Anyway, I hope this video may have resonated or been helpful in some way. It was for me to just sort of talk through what I've been feeling this last week. And I'm super stoked for the weekend. I hope you all are too. Thank you for the support. Uh, it's overwhelming. 
I'm so thankful that there's such a great community here who's down to watch this weird channel because we sort of just talk about whatever now and it just means a ton that the support the love is there so thank you all hope everybody has a great rest of the day i'll see you on monday